Folks, a recent story of a woman who claims she got an HPV-related cancer at a nail salon has a lot of people talking about the health and safety precautions to consider before booking your next appointment. All right, you guys. I know, I know. I just, I get gel right. manicures this and I a, just got in a, trouble for this. This is a judgment-free zone. <laughs> However, you know, I think it, it really is important because there are a lot of health issues potentially at these nail salons. You know, you can get a manicure potentially for $9, $8, $10. Or you could do it yourself at home. Pros and cons of going to these nail salons, obviously they do good work. It's convenient. Um, it's fun. It's like, you know, a, a nice little ritual that a lot of women and men engage in. But I want to be crystal clear. Bacterial infections, fungal infections, viral infections, a hundred percent possible any time you are dealing with skin-to-skin -skin contact or instruments that may or may not be adequately cleaned yes there are standards they're all they're very very seriously followed by the vast majority of nail salons but it doesn't mean that your risk is zero uh, so one of the tips that I think you know and I think that these are easy they're non disruptive anyone can uh, follow them you want to make sure your nail salon is licensed they should have those licenses licenses posted in very plain sight for any customer to look at. Their tools should be sanitized, so you should actually see the person open those pouches beforehand, or you can bring your own, even better. Um, and then you want to look at the ingredients of the all of these uh, nail polishes, et cetera, that you're using. Try to avoid any with, you know, these egregious <laughs> formaldehyde is obviously not something you want on your skin. Um, but I want to be clear, if the frequency is there, which for a lot of people it is, they're going once a week or once a month for years, i.e. their whole life some, sometimes, um, there's the potential for having it impact your health. And I noticed this morning we were talking before the show that your nail polish is clear. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> you're taking a break. I'm taking. Are there a, health benefits? On the, on the toes, it's not pretty. Um, <laughs> but yes, I am uh, going nail polish free for the month of January. Notice I chose after my wedding to do this. <laughs> That's a test that I know my husband really loves me. But, you know, yes, you want to kind of give your nails a break. This is part of your skin. It's a window into your health. And so a break, not a bad idea. That's good advice, Dr. Tim. Thank you very much. And you can submit your medical questions here at ABC GMA 3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.